So I have a lot of views on this stuff, but it's way more nuanced than that. So I don't know how to answer that. But if it's only that, then if it's only those two options, then I would say 50-50. Get more money. I would say that too, but that was an option. <laughs> yeah. If girls, you know, earn more money, then girls can pay more. And if guys pay, you know, if guys get more money, then guys can pay more. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like girls all pay, you know, or guys pay. But that wasn't an option, so I didn't say that. But I do agree with you. Yeah. So again, no conflict. I agree. No with that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Concrete equality is kind of stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it depends. Yeah, yeah that, like, the gender equality doesn't really mean anything because yeah. some guy gets more money, but some guy gets paid like shit. So, yeah, exactly. You know, it's not fair to say so, guys should pay everything. Yeah. Okay, right? So, like, because of the society we live in, probably in most cases the man would contribute more. But hey, at the same time, I would understand that girl when girl says like, you know, I want my man to pay for my things because like I want to feel he cares that much about me. Um, I I think that's fine to say, but she has to be aware of the realities of life. What is she offering? Because sometimes you get girls that say that kind of thing, but literally have nothing to offer. Does she have to offer something? Yeah. But, but then why, why do men have to offer their money to her if she doesn't offer anything? There should be oh, some yes. kind of, If she's making it transactional, there should it's be... It's not like transactional if, if your man wants her more than... I don't know. Well, anyone else, then he makes that much effort. If you want this equal amount of effort from a woman, then I don't know. Yeah, I, I just think there has to be some kind of equality. Balance. Yeah, like maybe the man offers more financially. Oh man, I don't know. Um, I, I think it's fine that women can say that. But, if they end up single at age 40, they might have to think again about their attitudes. <laughs> I'm not 40. I'm not 40. No. Excuse me. Uh, genuinely, I didn't mean you. <laughs> genuinely, I did not mean you. I actually didn't. I actually didn't. Okay. You're not 40. You're 34. You're 34. <laughs> Secret. Beep it out. She's you got, 34. You've got six more years. Yes, I do. No, no. I but, so, I genuinely didn't mean that. My point was, like, sometimes there's women who are like demand everything but give nothing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. I see, I see your point. And that's not very rare. Yeah. I'm sure Mark's met those kinds of women. Yeah. I've met those kinds of women. Like, I understand women wanting X, Y, Z, having requirements. That's fine, but you can't demand four and give Zero. Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. have. It is very common in the UK. Yeah. In the UK, a lot of Western girls they expect a lot on the first date. Hard to say. So I want this one. <laughs> I don't know if you want this one. <laughs> the viewers will decide. I don't know. <laughs>
In Japan, yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah, in Japan, yeah. No, I wouldn't forgive them. But not not really bug, but I mean some people have different definitions of cheating and that kind of thing. Cheating is cheating. I, I kind of agree, yeah. In that case, yeah, I agree. Man. Man. Both genders have big gaps in the ways they communicate, but overall women are way better. I feel like, um... I don't know, I'm not just saying. I feel like women, women build up way more of a, um, like a support network. Like with their friends, they, they hype each other up, they compliment each other, they're, they're there for each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, we barely contact each other. We drink beer together and yeah. then if, if you have like serious problems, not, not saying anything, I'm sure Mark might be nice to me if I did, but, but in general, like guys, from a British guy's perspective, I think Japanese guys actually have no idea how they communicate that kind of thing. I imagine they're not the best at communicating this stuff, but um, at least British guys, it, there's there's kind of a manly kind of lad culture, like, go on, get out, wait, wait, which I like. It's a great way to forget your problems, but sometimes you need a woman to get to the heart of your issues, to talk it out with, and... <clears throat> I feel like Meg completely disagrees. I don't completely disagree. I think Japanese women are not very good at expressing themselves, right? You agree, right? So, for that, Japanese women are not, or maybe like other countries' women are different. Like, Japanese women are not very good at like, communicating, not very good at like talking through what they want and everything. But at the same time, men are not very good at talking about what they want. The relationship between Japanese women and men is kind of hard to communicate each other about what they really want from each other. It's not easy. Oh god! I'm not gonna answer this one. Okay. I've never had sex with Greek person. Greek. And I heard Greek person is like Greek, like. <laughs> they have the most sex on that. Yes, day. they have the most sex they ever. I heard they have the shortest penises in Europe. Isn't it Korean? Oh, in Europe, in Europe, Europe. Okay. shortest penises in Europe. I don't know. Just little little chodes. I don't know. Also, they're the most obese country in Europe. Maybe, maybe. Lots maybe. of fat Greek guys with tiny peckers. Maybe. So, big bellies, tiny knobs. You know, it sounds awful. <laughs> yeah. is, is penis size important? Not necessarily, as long as he knows how to use it. Yeah, it helps. If he doesn't have a technique, then the size helps. If he has techniques, then the size doesn't matter. I think uh, that's really difficult actually. I think equal. I think it's equal. Equal? Yeah. I think, I think women are more jealous. I think they show jealousy in maybe different ways. But I think at the, uh, maybe. At, at the, maybe. Core, the core of it, I think maybe it's kind of balanced. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Woman? Women, yeah. yeah Someone paid your holiday to Hawaii. Oh yeah. 
Two or three months. Honestly, it really depends on the situation, but if, if they really needed my support, there's no way for them to make money, there's no way for them to work, then I, I, I would try to make it indefinite, support them as much as I can, for as long as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. But if, if it's, they need support because they just ate too many McDonald's and they weigh 600 kilos and they can't work a normal job, then get out. No, I think anyone can get a job in two to three months. Okay. But I mean, like, also depends on like how much he has savings, right? If he can support himself for longer than that, then it's not my position to say anything. Depends on what kind of relationship we have, you know? You're married. Uh, if you're married, then yeah, I, I'll support him no matter what. And he lost his date. I guess I still have to support him. Maybe once he recover and everything, then maybe I'm gonna get a new husband. But hey, until he recovers, yeah, I guess it's my